Oh, hey. oh. Worst draw of the year, it has to be. I'm John Ritland, that is. Uh, the Durbinator. What, and what are you calling this raw? Tonight it was definitely Vincinati it, because it reeked to Vince McMahon. It did. Um, and it start? Eh, maybe not to finish, to, um, no. to before the final match. There was one woman segment, no, two women segments out of this whole thing. Not even a woman, well, I mean, technically a woman's match. Um, boy, the women just got fucking just buried on this. Mm. Um, this was bad. I'm just going to say this. Shout out to Oni Rikaku, but you know what? They're going to start a hashtag cancel Raw here pretty soon, and it's not the A show. We're it's going not... to give it the worst grade imaginable. Which we'll get. A minus minus. <laughs> But it's not the A show, it's not the B show, it's not the C show. It wasn't even A show, really. It wasn't. It was not. Vince, he comes out and fans are cheering him, which proves that, you know, being fans of the Bengals or the Reds means that you're stupid. Sorry. Well, we know how crowd, how people can get sucked into crowds. We've gotten sucked into crowds. Yes. I know, but those are fun yes. shows. Um, Vince, he says, tonight, tonight's Raw will be one for the Asians. Yeah, I was watching. It wasn't for me, though. Was yeah, it's a good point. Whatever. Anyway, I cannot imagine how anybody enjoyed this. I'm sorry. I did, and I'm not saying that you guys are wrong. I just don't get how you did. <laughs> um, so yeah, Vince is out there. He's gonna inst. Well, first, then Roman comes out. He got cheered, kind of a little. A some. Well, he, he got booed some. He got cheered. But yeah, I mean that's to be expected. Yeah, we have that and. Roman's like gonna threaten to punch Vince or no, you're not you said the the fans were the authority and then you've just been running around doing the whole thing. Th this whole thing of trying to break the fourth wall is really stupid because Vince is aware of it, he just doesn't care. Yeah. And <clears throat> that's it. Vince he is needs some convincing. V Vince needs to step down he into, does. A, into a volcano for all I care at this point. Um to take Dunn with him. Or send done to Saudi Arabia. Anyway, um, look, Brian then comes out. I don't know why he's here, but we find out later why he's here. To have a match. Yeah, which we get to here in a bit. But Kofi's also here. Vince is instilling a wild card rule, which means three people, only three people, only three, only three people can An come. An exception is made later. Sure. Um, only three people are allowed from SmackDown to Raw occasionally and Raw to SmackDown occasionally. Further proving, A, the brand split is fucking bullshit. And that Fox is is exerting a ton of force with their upcoming TV deal. It's a lot of damage. <clears throat> it is a lot. Of, yeah, Fox knows about damaging a whole lot. It, I get it. They want the big stars. I'm not against that. Just say the fucking brand. Stars. Brain, she stars. So, yeah, Vince, Vince has created a nemesis in the fans. This, this was fucking bad. This was really bad. The wild card rule. Again, only three people. Only three wrestlers. Yep. Only three. Which is both, so we have Brian, Roman, and Kofi. And then we're gonna have Brian versus Drew. Drew comes out there, by the way. Yeah. And Kofi versus Brian later for the WWE title. And then after that's announced, we, we then, continue with the promos. Out the commercial break is AJ Styles yeah. shows up. Yeah, Vince also saying that he was brilliant for coming up with this stuff. Which I, I think is leading into something, uh, an angle with Vince McMahon. I don't know if it's gonna play out the way they think it's going to. It's going to lead to the ratings falling further yeah, probably. and further. It's what Vince deserves. I hope that the XFL fails and it puts him in a coma. Seriously. Maybe he'll wake up and or realize. Or worse, puts him in Tacoma. <clears throat> They're going to be in Tacoma, by the way, for Stomping Grounds, which is an actual name of a pay-per-view that they came up with. I'm not going to that. You're going to be an indie show. Yeah. We're not going to Raw the day after. You know why? Because the indies are worth investing in. WWE has my stuff for the network. They have my, they have my, you know, nine 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 per month. And they may actually raise it and do tier pricing. That's fine. Whatever. Cool. Yeah, I will tier still... pricing because we're crying and despairing over how bad things are getting. Yes. And look, I get it. Why? Oh, why do you watch it? Well, we took a vow to watch wrestling so you don't have to. Plus, we want to see if we actually might enjoy it. Maybe. Results inconclusive. Yes, definitely inconclusive. But yeah, Vince, uh, yeah, so then you have AJ Styles out there, and then you have Seth Rollins out there, and Vince does more, it's like 30 minutes before we get to a match, and then Rollins and Styles are teaming up against a really, really great team that we have never Ugh. fucking seen before, Lashley and Corbin. Ugh. This is further proof that Vince has no clue what he's doing, and if you think Vince knows it what he's doing... It takes a lot to have Seth Rollins and AJ Styles in the same ring and not excite anyone. 
Yes, and I'm sorry, Corbin is not interesting. I know that that's kind of the point that he's supposed to be a heel, but he's not an interesting heel. Right. I don't pay to watch him get beat up. I pay to watch people be interesting, and I'm sorry he's not. Even Lashley's not in Lashley checked out, like, right when the sisters thing happened. He is not giving a shit. Then okay. uh, I, I usually say, you know, it's a good way to get heat is to have a certain kind of character, someone who's... Yeah, not good at wrestling. Or, right. You know, things like that. And it's usually a common staple in wrestling. But then you get a guy who is good at wrestling. Decent. He's mid-mid-card at best. And, and his promo skills are... Eh. He's not compelling. He doesn't really have any in-ring charisma. He doesn't get people to love to hate him. They just don't care. And, or if they hate him, it's like almost like the worst kind of heat, like X-Pac heat, even though I hate saying X, X-Pac actually was a good worker, and I'm sure still, I don't know if he's still wrestling anymore. So yeah, this match was too yeah. long, it went through two commercial breaks, it wasn't that it was bad, it was great that we finally got to a goddamn match, but then you had Styles accidentally <laughs> hitting the Phenomenal Forearm, Rollins then gets hit by the end of days by Corbin. Oh, AJ hey, Styles, <laughs> after hitting the Phenomenal Forearm, see what he did? He decides to just roll out and leave. Yeah, he just leaves and then Rollins gets pinned. Your Universal Champion got pinned. Yes. A month. Yeah, this is going to lead to Rollins versus <sighs> Corbin at Extreme Rules, I have a feeling. Mm. Which is not what we need. Mm. Um, Miz is outside Shane's locker room, we get to that later. Zane, Vince is speaking through Sami Zayn, by the way. Yeah. And you know what it's doing? It's causing fans to literally tune out. They aren't selling out arenas. They, the ratings are falling. Vince is like, he's being this person, like, hoarding all these toys in this toy box. I gave you all these toys. I gave you Kofi, Becky, and Rollins, Wayne, and Mania, and you still aren't happy. That's true. But you turned everything to shit afterwards. Yep. That, that's the problem. I mean, and I know it seems like I get angry constantly, and I do. And I get angry at New Japan, by the way, too. WWE, I get, is entertainment and sports. And, and, well, and entertainment. It ain't wrestling. It can be. NXT is wrestling. But yes. The whole point, and it's under the same umbrella. Look, I get it. I don't expect... They are not your account. I don't expect a home run show every single week. But when I they're... Do. I expect at least something good, something yes. decent. If they aren't even going to try, this is, you know, I almost wish WCW had won the Monday Night Wars at this point. It can't be any worse than this. Oh, it could be. Okay, Bischoff running it, not Russo. A Russo running it, it would be worse. Well, no, Russo wouldn't be running WCW. He was out before the buyout happened. Yeah. Um, it really can't be any worse. Hogan... Ah, uh, yeah, the Hogan Bischoff thing in TNA was pretty bad. I can't believe Hogan is the Universal WWE Heavyweight Champion at the same time! And he wins the Divas Championship that they bring back just for that because he is a Diva. So, okay, look, I, Vince was speaking... To, Zayn doesn't even care. Zayn has checked out. And well, he does care. He, he delivers the, these promos as passionately as one would be if they were some smarmy asshole. Yes, but he doesn't care. Well, yeah, he doesn't believe in what he's saying, but and that's, he's... He can at least deliver it convincingly enough. It just, that's... Convincingly yeah, enough. I see what you did there. Vince is just... Convincingly enough. Vince is basically just slapping the fans in the face. Convincingly. God damn it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> He's just slapping the fans in the face, saying, you're going to like this, you know, you're going to watch this and like this. Um, And unfortunately, fans are tuning out, and then he's wondering what's going on. Well, why is everybody... Rejecting my advances. Yeah, Braun is. Yeah, Braun chasing Sami Zayn in a dumpster in a trash truck. We're having uh, another dumpster match, by the way. Throws him into a dumpster, if, which gets loaded into a garbage truck. That garbage truck, by the way, those garbage trucks compress the garbage that's in them when they're full. Yeah. Sami's dead. He is dead. He and is dead. And those shall rise. Holy crap. They got to. They got to. Uh, the trash truck got to Sami before the Saudi Arabian government could. You know that's what they would do to Sammy because they're evil fucking people. They like to hack people up at bone saw, just stupid fucks. So, yeah, I hope that I this is gonna lead to a dumpster match. And it's gonna be bad. Are you sure it's not gonna lead to a dumpster fire? No, that was a show. We then get a uh, team do a good lucha thing versus jobbers and they win. Surprise! Right. Natty, Naomi, Dana, Dana, who is looking like Liv Morgan and... Yeah, it was yeah. someone combined Liv Morgan and Mandy Rose, and they're like, Oh, God, we created another Dana! Liv, Liv Rose Brooks. 
So... I really like Dana still one of Liv's tops. Hopefully not the one she was wearing. You stop thinking that, John. What? Not me! But anyway, so... Um... Yeah, so they get invited by Lacey, uh, and they put... They, they, they put the resented stuff in these invitations. Why is this happening? Because... Lacey's gimmick is that, you know, she's a Southern Belle kind of right. character. But, but also can punch really fucking hard. She can. She's better than this. I think it fits within her character, though. I think it does. My problem is, it's just, I don't know, it just didn't work for me. But then we have Ricochet versus Rude. Ricochet's money in the bank, uh, you know, opportunity was on the line. Thankfully, Ricochet won. Yeah, I don't know why they'd put that on the line against Bobbert Rude. Or Bob Rude, as Rusev said. <laughs> I like Bobber. Bobber Groot is bear. Yeah. Uh, it was it was fine. It was fine. We then have Ray Slater and Dominic there, and then, 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 then Dominic is follow or er, being followed by Samoa Joe. And then we got a commercial. So and, they were implying that he's gonna get like choked out or something. But yeah. much to our disappointment and or relief, when the commercials came back, Samoa Joe was having a very serious conversation with Dominic. My disappointment, your relief. Yeah. Um. No, I was I was actually kind of hoping that. Joe wants Dominic to call him daddy. Yeah. So, he did uh, reference Uncle Eddie. Uncle Eddie. Which was... A good throwback to a really weird angle. A bad angle. Yes. That they made work somehow. Well, I mean, it was Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. That's, if they couldn't make a match work, that'd be weird. They, that's a good point. Um, when their worst match was probably three and a half stars, <laughs> I'd say them. Yeah. Lacey versus a jobber. I don't know who the jobber's name was. No disrespect. Oh, uh, but she had the... Well, similar top and bottom. Yeah, yeah, it was something weird. And then Naomi, Natty, Alexa, and Dana are at ringside. And then suddenly Becky runs out there and beats up Lacey after a promo or starts to beat her up. Yeah. They really should have ended last week's Raw. They should have taken that segment and ended next week's Raw with it because now it just feels like they're stalling towards it. When Lacey and Becky is actually a pretty hot feud and I think it's something that could steal the show. Beyond the ladder matches, of course. We think of Daniel saying Kofi is acting like a shill or a shilling. I don't know why he's referencing, you know, currency. Is are shillings still around? Seriously, I don't, I, I don't think they are. No, um, because they use the pound. Oh god, left you 15 quid, Shaun of the Dead. So the Usos are sneaking around. Then we get Hawkins and Ryder versus the Viking Raiders. Corey, well, the Viking Raiders won, by the way, but during this match, Corey says that to Renee, that's why you don't get paid to think, Renee. It's not like Corey ever has any disrespect towards women what? or his no, wife no, no, or any of that. Corey deserves to have something dropped on his head for all I care. Um, then he says, but yeah, the Viking Raiders won. Usos are sneaking around still. And things are about to get uh, go from bad to worse. Speaking of which, Firefly Funhouse. Oh, yeah, it was kind of interesting. There was little flashes of... So it starts off with Mercy the Buzzard eating some cotton. And as it turns out, Mercy has eaten the rambling rabbit. Um, now Bray is not actually upset about this. and He says that it's okay to express yourself. Um, and he's like, and I think we'll even have a reward. Right, kids? And then they just pant to kids. And the kids are like, just like completely nonplussed about the situation. Like, what are we doing here? Why are we bored? The representation of the crowd. Oh, God, bro. They and, cut, I, and I think that's kind of a bit of a meta humor on Bray's part. They cut to the crowd, the live crowd, a few times, and no one gives a shit. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I get it. You want to be a kid show, you want to be subtle about it, you're doing a slow build. This isn't something that you can do a slow build with. You gotta ramp it up a little bit more, which obviously having one of the characters of the show being devoured by another character of the show is... I'm thinking they thought was ramping it up, but you gotta you gotta give them more hints. You gotta give them more of a direction. What's what is Bray's intent? Apparently, he left clues in some of his promos in 2015. Were they about his release? It should be about his motherfucking release. Anyway, that but, was the Firefly Funhouse. It wasn't much. He's got his grand plan. That he's revealing next week. He says something about it on Twitter. Mm. He's going to talk about the Firefly Funhouse until it either a convinces me or b this abortion of a thing is gone. It'll never um, convince you. It doesn't... It, it shouldn't have to. It, it's divided people. It's convinced it, you... No, no, no. Well, just, somewhat. I, I haven't given up on it. I wouldn't have to if it wasn't so bad. Anyway, Tyler... Uh, not Tyler Black. But, you know, Rollins, who is Tyler Black, is talking about how he's going to, you know, he's going to beat up AJ Styles and he's... Uh, you're going to leave with two Tyler Black eyes, I think is what he said. Two black eyes? 
<laughs> no, AJ doesn't know how to deal with the, the gay, gay community. community. But no, actually, wait, two black guys, oh god, Hogan would be even more upset even mm. though he is the right gay guy for the job. Yeah. So, Reigns versus McIntyre. In a Mania rematch, it went on a bit too long, but it was actually well worked. It was better than their Mania match. Yeah. It, again, to go on a little bit too long, but it ended in fluky fashion. Um, drive-bys were prevented. And then Shane attacks Reigns. Yep. And then Elias attacks Reigns. Three people from SmackDown. Hey. Three people. Three wrestlers. Elias is a wrestler. Yes. So, four. Yes. Which an exception is made later. Five. <laughs> Co Reigns. Kofi, Brian. True. Elias, Lars. Five. Okay. Five time, five time. So, uh, Miz, right. Miz runs down, chases Shane away, and then Charlie films Shane's escape, and then Miz waffles him with a chair. Yep. And then potatoes him with something. Fuck, I don't know. How he got ahead, I'm not sure. How I... we knew where, where exactly to go, I'm not <laughs> sure. Good question. Charlie looked great, at least there was that. The Usos. Um, so it's a revival in the ga in ga in the Good Brothers, home of the Good Brothers. The two teams that have checked out of WWE, by the way, can't yeah. even fucking blame them. So oh, the no. Usos reveal that they put this icy hot, oozy hot down the tights. Of Who the fuck came up with this idea? This was almost as embarrassing to watch as Drake Maverick pissing himself or pissing on Bobby Roode's robes. It's it's the absurd potty humor that you'd expect Vince McMahon to absolutely adore. Except nobody else was that entertained by it. I mean, who who thinks this is a good segment? What is this built to? Are, are the Usos here? Are the Revival now faced because they're being tortured? Day in and day out? <laughs> they didn't want to resign. Who is who now? I don't fucking... I don't know who I am anymore, but... I agree. No, I. this was bad. You wanted the Attitude Era back, you stupid motherfuckers. Well, here's all the bad shit. Oh, God, it is... It's bad. Yeah. It just, it just was... The Usos don't come across looking humorous, and they were trying. The Usos re-signed, and this is what they're doing with them. This is dumber than No Brains Brian. Brian has no brains. He doesn't. He doesn't. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <just, laughs> Um, yeah, this was bad. Like, really, motherfucker. I cannot believe this happened. I actually can't. In 2019, I thought the bar kept going lower and lower, and then they split up. But also, I thought the bar for quality kept going lower right. and lower. This is bad. No way, Jose. Gorgeous redhead in that conga line, by the way. You need to know more about her. But our joy was cut short by... Lars. Yep. Five guys. Five guys on Raw. From SmackDown. Wait, the burgers are awesome, though. I should have expected that. You I, don't know why, I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, Lars beats everybody up, including throwing a guy into the barricade and in the apron, which, as we know, is, uh, is also the hardest part of the ring, but also looked kind of painful. Yeah, no way Jose tried to put up a fight. He didn't run from the challenge, and he should have. Yeah, <laughs> he should have. The sad thing is, that's the most of No Way Jose has been featured on Raw in about the last two of months. Of course, apparently he has a higher win ratio than Brock Lesnar did last year. How scary is that? Hilarious. It is, it is. Vince and Lars. Um, so yeah, Vince is saying three people, wait, here's Lars. Make that four people. Yeah. Because he got intimidated by all that beef. All that beef. And then Kofi and Brian for the WWE title. I wanted to great care match. I wanted to care about this so much. It was a great match, but we were so Bucking, drained yeah. from the rest of the show that we we're just like it was hard to get attached to the show to this match, which don't be mistaken, it's a great match, and you should go watch it. But... But it was... You, you can't get invested when the rest... When you got a <clears throat> cherry on top of a shit pile that, that's all laughing at the fact that it's poop because it's that that's what Vince pile of shit is Vince McMahon. That Vince would laugh at that. This is Vince essentially... No! Oh, oh, Stephanie, look at me! I'm actual shit. <laughs> oh, Vince... This is my worst nightmare. <laughs> I, I say this much, I, guys. Check out other companies. Also, check out, if you guys support, support your independent Impact, wrestling. Support your independent wrestling. Ring of Honor. It, Impa I mean, if Impact, if you want to, except for Michael Logan. Yeah. Fuck that guy. If you're finding yourself falling out of love with wrestling because Raw, Indie, just keep in mind, Raw may be the top dog, but that top dog is like 20 years old and probably should have died a few years ago. 
It's been scenes of the young pups that are really getting all the attention. Yeah, it should be getting the attention. Yeah, this. Uh, because independent, independent wrestling, yeah. like for me, would probably reignite your love of wrestling. You, you're going to be watching more independent wrestling, some shows, while I'll review some re pay-per-views on my own. F, 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 U. Yeah, F, I. And F, U. I, I want, I want. I want to give it a better grade based upon the ma some of the matches two themselves. Ma two matches were good. But yeah, we only had two solid matches. And, uh, and yeah. the rest of it just... 20% is not a passing grade. No. But if you disagree with us, there's a poll up here. There's comments down there. And subscribe button. Yeah, hit like and dislike, hit, dislike, like hit subscribe. Yeah. Do all that. There will be some more rants yeah. that I pre-record that I'm going to be putting up at some point. If this one does really good views, thank you guys, by the way, for almost 154,000 views. Thank you very much. If we get to 200,000 views before the end of the year, which we might at this point. We'll do a Q&A stream. Um, we will do a Q&A stream, and we will just play games randomly, whatever. We'll just say random Q&A stream. Anyway, I'm John Ritzlin. That is, and by the way, Vince, you can fuck off. Hi, I'm the Durbinator. Yeah, he and is. You have a good night. Yeah, sorry.